Two explosions have been heard in the Israeli city of Tel Aviv after air raid warning sirens were triggered. Local media report two rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip, which led to the activation of air defence systems in Tel Aviv. The Israeli military reportedly intercepted one missile while another fell into an open area. No casualties have at this time been reported. The last time rockets were fired at the Tel Aviv area was back in 2014. OK, let's bring in a guest now. I can speak to Naftali Bennett, who is Israel's Education Minister and a member of Israel's Security Cabinet. I appreciate you taking the time to come on and talk about this uh, now. The situation between uh, Israel and Palestine and, and the problems in the Gaza Strip, obviously great tension. Is this an escalation, in your opinion? It is. Uh, Hamas has been uh, shooting rockets on uh, the southern part of Israel for roughly a year now. Um, and now they've shot uh, two rockets on uh, the Tel Aviv area. Um, it's time to defeat Hamas. It's time to demilitarize uh, the Gaza Strip. Uh, we are fine with uh, Gaza thriving on a civilian uh, basis, but we cannot accept uh, this uh, ongoing uh, rocket fire on our homes here in uh, Tel Aviv and down in the Negev. What would you anticipate will be the Israeli response immediately? Well, I'm not going to share the precise response, uh, but the, the bottom line is that we uh, left the Gaza Strip uh, about 13 years ago now, uh, and it's, uh, the moment we left, they've been shooting rockets at us, so we will not uh, give up any more land it just doesn't make sense. When uh, we hand land over to the Arabs, they turn it into a radical Islamic uh, terror state. And now it's time to fight back uh, that state, and we will. Israel has been accused um, many times of using excessive force while dealing with protesters in, in that area. Um, it, does it surprise you that Palestinians are also using force themselves? That's uh, utter nonsense. Um, where do you live, by the way, personally? Do you live in Moscow? I do. Well, you say it's utter nonsense. We only have to look back one day to find uh, Ima a UN Imagine the rockets, a UN, a UN rockets human rights that fly on Moscow. A UN human how would rights the, council saying how would they put in that the Israeli military rockets, forces shot you're, you're avoiding my question. Civilians. I'm just asking you that the, the UN says that unarmed that, Palestinian civilians were shot by Israeli <laughs> forces so do, are you surprised that there is an aggressive response coming from Palestinians? No, uh, you're, you're evading my question. Uh, what would Vladimir Putin do if uh, Islamic rockets were shot at Moscow? Uh, you would uh, totally obliterate uh, those uh, enemies. And that's what Israel needs to do. We have the right of self-defense, and I do not accept uh, any sort of uh, preach uh, from folks on the other side of the world when we're being shot rockets from a piece of territory that we handed over to the Arabs. What I can say is that we won't do that again. No, certainly no one's trying to preach. I, and I think everybody understands, no matter what their, their grasp of the situation uh, in the Middle East, is that the violence, the cycle of violence continues and that one begats more aggression. Um, how is you know, the, uh, what you're suggesting going to improve that situation? Well, what you're sort of uh, describing is a two-sided uh, um, situation where they're aggressive and we're aggressive, but that's not the case. We left Gaza. We want peace. The moment they stop shooting missiles at my children's uh, uh, home in kindergarten, is the moment there will be peace. We have no uh, territorial demand over Gaza, and they just need to stop it. If they stop it, there will be peace. That's very simple. Uh, I'd like to talk, if I may, about the, the BDS. That's Boycott, Divestment, Sanctions movement aimed at isolating Israel. BDS activists, they say that it's a non-violent movement. Um, how else can people express disagreement with the policies of, of Israel other than boycotting, if they feel if they feel their other approaches have failed, you know anyone can do whatever he wants. Uh, this is a movement of uh, anti-Semitism. I don't see any uh, BDS towards any other country in the world, uh, and uh, it's a unique issue uh, to Israel, which is the only democracy in the Middle East. 
the only democracy, yet the BDS movement is focused on Israel. But that's fine. Uh, you know, we uh, are a self-sustained uh, country with uh, high-tech, uh, almost the size of the high-tech in, uh, in, uh, in New York. And we're doing fine. If uh, they want to give up uh, GPS systems, if they want to give up our uh, uh, dairy technology, if they want to give up our medical stents in their hearts, that's fine. Um, I, I don't see that the Palestinians have uh, any major products that uh, we can't do away with. Everybody's striving for an improved situation, more peace, less aggression, more harmony. Is it possible? We don't know, but Arab Israelis are expressing their anger over Prime Minister Netanyahu's comments on the recent uh, nation-state law that Israel's for Jewish citizens only. Uh, some even call for boycotting the upcoming e election. Was that a mistake from the Prime Minister? Did it just deepen the rift in Israeli society? No, that's not what the Prime Minister said. Uh, just as uh, Russia is the nation state of the Russians and uh, Britain is the nation state of the Brits, Israel is the nation state of the Jews. It does not mean that uh, non-Jews don't enjoy full equal rights. They do. They vote for the Knesset. Uh, there are Supreme Court justices who are Arab and they enjoy full equal rights in Israel and the Prime Minister said just that. However, Israel remains the nation state of the Jewish people and we're very proud of that. Um, so you're saying it's technically accurate. Could one say it was insensitive at this time? It's not sensitive at all. Quite the contrary. You know, the Jews only have one little state the size of uh, New Jersey. Uh, the Arabs have uh, about 22 states and uh, there's about uh, 1 billion Muslims in, in the region. Uh, we don't have any anywhere else to go. This is our home, and we're proud of it. We're proud that we're back uh, home. Uh, so there's nothing sensitive about that that would be more sensitive than saying uh, that Russia is the nation state of the Russian uh, people. What's the state of the peace process now? And would you say that the Israeli government still supports a, a two-state solution? Well, there's a internal debate, uh, I uh, vehemently oppose forming another Arab state uh, within the land of Israel. We already have a failed one called Gaza that's uh, turning Israel into, uh, you know, an area prone for rockets. I'm not about to found another one. These guys just cannot run uh, and manage themselves. These folks uh, certainly are, have a goal of uh, annihilating uh, Israel. And uh, as long as it's up to me, uh, we will not form another Arab state west of the, the Jordan River. Would it be important to make sure that uh, Jewish settlements don't expand any further? Would that send a, a positive message? No, not at all. Uh, I think every state has full rights uh, for its citizens to build new communities, new towns, uh, as long as it's up to me. I would build uh, for Jews anywhere in Israel um, because it's our home. And I, I don't think that uh, in, in France there's any limitation on the people to build their homes on Jews or non-Jews. Yet in Israel there are limitations on Jews where they cannot build. And that's unacceptable. So I think um, as long as it's up to me, I would build much more and many more uh, Jewish communities within our land. My guest this hour is Naftali Bennett, who is Israel's Education Minister and a member of uh, Israel's Security Cabinet. Naftali, thank you very much for your time.